Hunter x Hunter episode 43 AX Shocking X Tragedy. Someone's gonna die. Everything is converging. Everything is coming together. She's going. It's the most important mafia event of the year. It's very intricate. Whoops. Played yourself. I have thought, and I guess also noticed firsthand, that above a certain level of wealth, when people just live their lives in wealthy circles, the game kind of changes. Competing amongst wealth, I think, actually is a sign of not wealth. For example, like brand fixation or car fixation. That's sort of like the beginning of wealth. After that, you're in a world where everyone has those things easily. But people love games. Humans are social creatures. Even though it might not be immediately obvious, we are very hardwired for roles, wanting to increase our role, and like measuring. Above wealth, I'd say there's a couple things. Obviously, power. Power. power trumps wealth, though the two are often correlated. Esteem, maybe, would be the right word. So like how likable you are, how good you look, which can go horribly wrong. Legacy, and then in sort of an other category, that which cannot be bought, maybe novelty. Hence like the collection thing. So like, I get why people might bid themselves into oblivion. I'm actually really excited for this auction. <laughs> MC is not... Really? Well, how do they get on stage? This is just going right into it, wasting no time. I wanted to see some auction first. <laughs> is it weird? I was. Oh my God! He's just murdering everyone. This was the the end of the mafia, apparently. Wow, what a quirk! Is he the most powerful person in all of anime? <laughs> yes. So he is an emitter! I was right! An emitter using some manipulation things. Oh my god! The death begins! <laughs> the, way, the way he so casually is explaining what's happening is he's getting riddled with bullets. Bullets just like ripping through him like some kind of balloon. Hope the dogs aren't in danger. Wow, wow, wow. I knew there was gonna be death, but. <laughs> To be killed by a vacuum cleaner, though, that's sad. So glad we got introduced to this whole cast and got to know them and their quirks. Just they can die one episode later. It, it legit just is a vacuum cleaner. <laughs> the dice roll, the Nen powered dice roll continues. Church girl with vacuum cleaner. Oh my god, this is not what I expected. Right? Whoa, whoa, I need like a chance to breathe here. Remember when they like censored stuff in this show? Didn't they censor like a Hisoka beheading or something? What happened? <laughs> What would happen to our sensibilities? This is so, so drastically different from my expectations of this episode. I thought there was going to be like another one of build up. We're going to see some auction bidding, which I, weirdly I was excited for. Gona and Kalua were, where are Gona and Kalua, by the way? Yeah, they were going to be here. Hisoka in a suit, perhaps, which would have been interesting. But no, just Mafia Massacre. Hmm. Well, the vacuum cleaner is going to come in real handy. The sound effect. I mean, it's sort of a miracle to imagine the Mafia survived this long without strong end users. Maybe they're just not here. Right, you, you would think they have resources at their disposal. Just with his hands. Speaking of beheadings, the vacuum pipe saved us from that one. Bizarre. I love it. There's, there's indeed a commotion. There's a real commotion in there. Melody really needs backup. Wow, they are really good. They are really efficient. I wonder what this guy can do. Also critically, don't let anyone out of the room. This is just the world that Gonin and Kalua are loose in. 
They're slowly getting away. Someone got there first. Insider? Hmm, wonder who it is. <laughs> Couldn't possibly be Ahsoka. We know he's the most loyal of all. Interesting. Somewhat connected to my earlier point about motivation beyond money. Also connected to Gonin Klua, right? They're they're connected to something much higher than money, obviously, seeing how frivolously they spend it. There's a fun game you can play of like why? Why that? Which can be a little bit unnerving, but it's like why are you doing what you're doing? Because I want X. Well, why do you want X? Because I want Y. Why do you want Y, etc. And what it'll often reveal is that you're not actually going for the thing you want, or you are very, very indirectly. Take Gon, why do you want money to get the game? Why do you want the game? To find my father. Why do you want to find your father? That's a tougher question. Often it is the case that the way you're going about it is the most direct path that you can see or know, but often it isn't, and that can be really interesting to discover. You see that in the misalignment of people who, if I had to guess, actually just want some kind of self-esteem, but are approaching it through ways that won't give them permanent boosts to their self-esteem, though the, the overall journey might. Case in point, in my recent experience working for the wealthy, they got all the money they need, right? But they're still working at advanced ages, let's say. That says a lot, right? They don't have to work, but they work. There's something in the work itself that trumps the money or trumps the benefit the money can provide them. To answer the question though, what would they want? I mean, Hisoka has something, which is a weird category I didn't consider, which is like arousal, I guess, thrill. それを信用している人物がマフィアンコミュニティの上層部にいる。よくわからねえな。I yeah, you would imagine they would have this at their disposal, but where, where were they? Watch this all be building up, or build up for one of the Mafia Dons. Or one of the Mafia Dons henchmen. We haven't let loose yet. <laughs> they're so confident they're ready to do battle in an air balloon. Catch them, they're slow, slowly getting away. Yeah, it's deliberate, isn't it? Gon, Kalu, and Leorio just missing all the action. How are they gonna get the game now? Wow, that's some great thinking. I like how they just assembled in. A clump for perfect Gatling shooting. They like just gathered in this grave for their convenience. <laughs> Damn it, his teeth. <laughs> Oh no, he's still alive. Too easy. Oh no! He's just having a great time. What about Nen sniper bullet? That's just normal sniper bullet. <laughs> Damn the accuracy though. Headshot. Yeah, like at what point do they figure it out? Better hope so. I don't know if Krippy is up for this yet. I don't blame you. Probably because you assembled into this tiny hole. <laughs> yeah, it would appear. <laughs> Yes. How much is the job worth to you? I think I feel like Melody is critical here. As like gaining intel. Oh, or just noticing the approaching threat after it's too late. Oh hi. Not the one. They're over there. 
please. Okay, this is interesting. Worm. But why do they call him Worm? Yeah, this is really interesting because we just had this this power level revealed only maybe to get destroyed. This is Mafia world building. Maybe Kurapika's potential future world. This should be good. Well, that's right, I didn't even think about that. Kurapika's sworn enemies are in sight. That did not go at all how I expected it to go from start to finish. There was no auction. We were in the auction room for all of 10 seconds. Now we're fighting in this crater and there's like this new enemy group. Gon and Lero never even showed up. Neither did Neon. Which makes me wonder what what is it actually building towards? It's pretty cool. Gon, Killua, Hunter Cyclopedia. <laughs> So that's to be men. I was wondering about that. Wow, 180 minutes. That's a that's a long active spell time. Makes me even more worried for Kurapika, who's so so hell bent on revenge. I didn't expect. I should have expected, but I didn't expect them to be this powerful. Then again, they're fighting just normal henchmen with normal guns, and we haven't really seen Nen go up against that for for quite some time. I have a feeling the Shadow Beasts are gonna reveal the scales a little bit more clearly. 